Last year, the Oakland A's ran away with the division, uh, finished 36 and 24. The Astros made the playoffs despite finishing under 500. Um, and Seattle actually finished in third place, 27 31. Then you have the Angels and, and the Rangers. I, I'll let you take it away. I know you have a lot of love for the Astros. I'll let you get there. The A's, I like this you're you're close and then they did they did nothing i mean they traded chris davis for andrews uh they lost hendricks and i was disappointed uh that the a's didn't do much which shouldn't be surprising it's the a's um you know the angels maybe they're you're gonna see you're gonna find people that are gonna hype the angels because of mike trout and some of the potential in their offense but but uh, who's who's pitching for them? I mean, they went out and got Alex Cobb. That's that's going to be the solution um, to their pitching problems. So there's a lot of questions uh, on some of these teams in the division. Zeril, I'll throw it to you first because I'm I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me about the Astros. Yeah, we, I'll actually start with the A's though because this podcast was all over the A's, all about the A's love last year. We told you to skip the Astros. We gave out the A's at plus three fifty, plus three eighty, plus four hundred. It all cashed. Um, you know, that, that was an absolute coup and it was almost never in doubt. They, they ran away with the division. They seem to just have a, a magic hitting grand slams like every other night, sometimes two in a night. So that was an unbelievably fun journey, but it's over. We're done with it. They signed Trevor <laughs> yeah. Rosenthal. They signed Mitch Marlin. They're starting to play around a little bit in the bottom of the free agent market. So I think if you're patient, if you want to fade this A's team, I'd wait. I think you might get a number closer to it. You can already get 88 and a half. You might get 89. You might get 89 and a half by opening day. Um, what's interesting with this team, the futures market, before the win totals came out, the A's were the division favorite, plus 120, plus 140-ish. The Astros behind them, plus 160, plus 170-ish. Then the win totals came out, and every win total had the A's winning more games, or sorry, had the Astros winning more games than the A's. And yet the books didn't move the divisional lines. Well, that's pretty odd. I think the uh, the A's are a team that you're going to be betting a lot against the Mariners. The A's for the past two years have been extremely right-handed in their offense. Matt Olson is also one of the best lefty on lefty bats in baseball. So the A's going against that Mariners staff is, is a pretty bad matchup for the Mariners almost every time, just because the amount of right-handed bats in that lineup. Also Matt Chapman faced amongst the hardest pitching in baseball last year and still put up really good numbers. I, I couldn't be higher on Chapman uh, as a player. I mean, I've, I know I've said that in the past, but there's actually data that indicates he should have been even better last year than he was. 